hey everyone welcome back here in my channel in today's video i'm gonna teach you how i bake our all-time favorite oatmeal cookies i'm gonna show you how i make the plain cookies and the one with chocolate chips so please keep on watching let's start with the ingredients so we need three cups of quick cooking oats Two cups of all-purpose flour. Three-fourth cup of white sugar. One of cup of brown sugar. Two medium-sized eggs. One teaspoon of baking soda. 1 teaspoon of salt 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder 1 teaspoon of vanilla and 1 cup melted butter So let's start baking First step is to cream together the butter, white sugar and the brown sugar Then add in the eggs one at a time. In a separate bowl, combine the flour, the baking soda, the salt, and the cinnamon and then stir them in all together and then combine this into the cream mixture When it's well blended, you can add a half of the quick cooking oats. Then finally, you can add the remaining half of the quick oats. I forgot the vanilla, it should be mixed with the wet ingredients but anyways, I'm adding it now to the dough Transfer the dough in a bowl, cover it and then chill for at least an hour After an hour of chilling the dough, I'm now forming small balls of dough using this 15 ml or 1 tablespoon measuring cup. Each ball should be placed 2 inches apart. And as you can see, I used a parchment paper or baking paper to avoid the cookies from sticking into the pan. But if you don't have the paper, you can just grease the pan. And then flatten each ball with a large fork. Bake 
the cookies in a 180 degrees preheated oven for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes and they're done now i'm transferring them in a wire rack to cool them completely This is going to be for the kids. For the remaining dough, I'm adding this cinnamon chips or you can also use chocolate chips or nuts or any dried berries if you wish. Mix it together with the dough and then bake it like what we did earlier on. Look at this goodness. Aren't they perfect for hot chocolate? or warm milk they are crunchy on the outside but soft and chewy inside this is a good gift idea for the holidays you can wrap it or put it in a box or a basket and share it to your friends and family